Here's Arrowwood, Knights Valley, Cabernet Sauvignon 2013. Arrowwood is the winery that uh, Dick Arrowwood started a couple decades ago. Currently, uh, the Jackson family owns Arrowwood and continues to follow in Dick Arrowwood's footsteps, making really good wines from uh, good AVAs in Sonoma, <clears throat> including Knights Valley. So Knights Valley is a, um, it's a river valley sort of tucked in on the very eastern edge of Sonoma County. And um, because of that, its distance from the coast, it's protected from the ocean influence. And so it's warmer area in Sonoma and really good for growing cab. Has nice gravelly soils, good drainage. So you get Cabernet that's got um, good intensity of flavor. Uh, smaller berries, lower yields. They actually source from a, a single vineyard in, uh, in Knights Valley. So, what's good about that? Complete control start to finish. In the vineyard doing all the farming, all the careful care that it takes to raise and breed prime wine grapes, right? And then they uh, handle them in the winery with the same amount of care. Um, they blend, uh, they're blending 8% Merlot and 8% Malbec into this one, along with the Cabernet. The wine gets aged 24 months in 80% French oak and 20% American oak, and about a quarter of that is new oak. <laughs> okay, you got all that? So basically the idea is a nice dose of new oak, um, mostly French oak, but a, just a little hit of American. Give it a little more spice maybe. But, um, you know, uh, Knights Valley, of course, is made famous by Barringer Vineyards, producing great cabs from there for forever. And uh, it's a lot of good, a lot of good fruit coming out of Knights Valley. So I'm getting a really big um, hit of violets and cassis. A little undertone of uh, sort of a little bit of vanilla. A little bit of maybe like mocha, sort of chocolate coffee. Oh, great nose on this. Let's try it. Yeah, it's big wine here. <clears throat> of course, 2013. Outstanding, outstanding vintage. A lot of intensity to this wine. Um, you know, that cassis, those black currant notes are there. Hits you right away on the palate. But then the wine kind of broadens out and you get mineral notes, getting licorice notes, getting more of those dark chocolate notes. There's a definitely um, a big backbone of this wine. This is definitely an ager. Um, you know, the tannins are a little bit puckering, but there's such a nice core of intense flavor in this wine that obviously it's something that's gonna unwind slowly over a few years in the cellar, right? But um, really pretty fruit notes on this wine, really nice, dense, intense flavor. Happy drinking.